Welcome to the Coconut Diaries. Today's video blog is all about the different local fishing techniques. First, using a pole and line to catch fish among the shallow reefs. Fishing at night using only a machete and a flashlight. And spearfishing local reefs during the daytime hours. In order to access the local fishing grounds, the fishermen must first walk out to the shallow reef flats with gear in hand. Here, a simple pole and line can be baited and swung out to dangle out in between the gaps in the coral heads, in the hopes of snagging a tasty snack, a favorite being the blue spotted grouper. It is similar to the forms of fishing I have done back home, but for the locals who rely on subsistence fishing, it is a very serious task to provide their families food. The next form of fishing is a much more abstract form, one I've never imagined possible, machete fishing. This adventure starts out for me with a short bike ride in the dark across the island along the uneven and bumpy coral dirt paths while yielding a massive blade, followed by a quick walk across the bare reef flats during low tide on a moonless night to the edge of the reef. Using only the pointed and narrow beam of a flashlight we scour the reef in search of our bounty of fish, crabs, and lobsters. Looking for the outline of a fish swimming in the shallows is quite a challenge for me as a first timer, but after some attempts I am able to stun some fish with my blade and collect them into our plastic bag to bring home. The third form of fishing, which is my favorite form, is spear fishing during the day. We have access to such pristine waters that I love taking advantage of being fully immersed in its beauty. Today I had the privilege of being guided by one of the more experienced fishermen of the village, Paul. He showed me some of the good spots, lagoon side, and the skill and accuracy he possesses. We took a tour of some of the local coral heads that are uniquely shaped and mesmerizingly colorful with a diverse array of stunningly colored fish. and Paul took full advantage of his knowledge of the local edible fish stocks. As well, he took the time to show me how to use a traditional fish tow line made from the fronds of the coconut tree. It was neat to see how the fish were transferred from the spear to the line and that the line is towed behind the swimmer, leaving a small scent trail in the water that occasionally tracks a more graceful and dangerous predator the shark. Yeah. 